So, it's been a long day, hasn't it? Guess what? The mods are working again. The method is even easier. Season one modding, you had to unpack all your files, put them in places. People kept asking me, oh, I didn't do this. I got white UI elements. I got this. I got that. Well, don't worry. I am here once more as Zeno to show you the proper way to mod Marvel Rivals. All you need for this in season 1.25, which you should already have because you needed it to be playing, is a completely stock version of Marvel Rivals. Delete all your mods, delete everything you unpacked, delete everything from last season, look at my other videos, all those folders we unpacked, all that extra data, the 14 gigs, the 12 gigs, delete it all, you don't need it. All you need is those original pack files that came with the game, the character.pack, lq.pack, hq.pack, wise.pack, all those things, keep those, put those back in the folder. Update the game. Once the game is updated, create a pseudo mods folder once again. You remember the pseudo mods folder? That's this one right here. So it's gonna be Marvel game, Marvel, content, packs, mods. That's it. This is where your mods are going, okay? So once more, you can have a really easy job keeping your mods in order and being able to undo and redo mods, change things out. Makes it super simple. Huge win for modding. What is the step? So how do we make this work? Well, you make it work like this. You download repack. Link down below. You don't have to move AES keys. You don't have model unpacking everything. It's all done here. It's all done by batch file. It's super easy. So you see here, when you get the repack file, it'll come as a, as a RAR or a zip. Extract that to a folder. I made a folder inside the directory where I keep all my mods. I call it rivals. Inside here is all the mods. Then I have the repack folder. Inside there is everything that was in the zip. You don't have to open the AC. You don't have to do anything. All you do, legitimately all you do is copy the mod from your desktop or from wherever you have it into the repack folder. If it is a pack file mod from season zero, this is all you do. Grab that pack file, drag it onto unrepack.bat. Hit enter. Great. It has now created a folder with the same name. I can delete that original pack file. I no longer need it, okay? After it's deleted, we're going to go in here, take this magic nsfwui.p and just drag it onto repackfolder.bat. Hit enter. I don't, I don't care what any of that says. It's just going through the files. It doesn't matter. I now have a new pack file. All I do is take that pack file, drag it over to mods, paste it in here. Done. Now, I'm not I'm going to take it out of here so that I can launch the app and show you that the rest of these, that I also did the same thing. These are sound mods, Bully Maguire, Marvel Luna Espresso, uh, Random Stuff Go. All of those I've already done. I can delete this folder now too. So all that stays in repack is repack. All that goes in the mods folder is your mods. Now I'm going to launch Marvel Rivals. I click Marvel Rivals. I say yes. Here comes the anti-cheat. On the right, you're going to see it in... Three, two, one, anti-cheat loading now. Whoop, anti-cheat loads, no problem at all. The best part about this is you're no longer storing all those unpacked game files. You are no longer having to go in and re-drop the original files over the ones if you want to undo a mod. You're no longer going to have problems undoing mods. All you got to do is just take the mods that you don't want out of the mods folder, you're done. It's that easy again because there's no longer loading loose files. This is actually a huge win for modders that they have allowed the mod file to work again when you just pack it properly. That's, that's so sweet. This is great. I click here, log in. Now I'm going to have to go to the practice range so that you can hear the changes. I would love to show you the NSFW UI elements, but YouTube has a big problem with, you know, anime titties on the screen. So uh, me saying that, I'm probably going to get in trouble. So we're going to go. <laughs> I can't say anime titties on YouTube, you guys. We all know why we're here, but we're not allowed to talk about it, okay? I'm watching, I'm going to get community noted. This video will have something at the bottom that'll say like, you know, GFY. Uh, so let's see, what do we want to try? We want to find out if Luna has her new alt. Does Luna have, does she still play? Bup, ba -da -bup, or whatever, or does she play? Let's try Spidey. Let's see. This, I'm telling you, this is by far so much better than Spider-Man's default alt that I, this is what bothered me the most about Luz Mods. <laughs> oh, it's so much better. And then we'll bring out our buddy Moon Knight. Mark or Steven or Jake. There you go. Mods are working again. Congratulations. I hope that you all enjoyed this quick tutorial. Make sure to leave your likes and uh, subscribes down below, and I'll see you on the next video. If you need any of the mods that I showed in this video or anything else, just let me know down below. Be happy to help out. Take it easy.